Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. So today I'll be showing you guys how you can add your JSOAP extension or like or like JSOAP library onto your NetBeans. Now this is the latest version of NetBeans, and I find that a lot of the tutorials out there are like old ones of version eight or something, and a lot of the interface are different. So you might struggle to find or like import JSOAP onto your project. So it's really simple but you might still run into issues here so i'll be talking about those probably the first thing that you need to do is go over and like download your like jar file which is like free you can go to jsu click on download it should be downloading the core library version and once you've downloaded your jar file uh, it kind of depends on your project type so if you're working with a maven project like me then you might if you like go over to properties you might not find any library option here but if it's like a normal standard application i think you would probably see library here but for the maven project you don't see any libraries or anything so so if you go over to the website they actually recommend not downloading anything if you're using on uh, like maven and just add a code to your like project go over to your pom.xml and over here you can add a dependency but it didn't work for me i, I still had the trouble netbeans wasn't identifying dot jsu so what it did after that was i went over to tools and then plugins then i went over to download it and add plugins from here you, they ask you to select a plugin distribution file so i selected dot jar file and then i selected jsoup and i clicked on open and i got to install jsoup so right, right now i have already installed jsoup so it's not showing anything here all right so, so i guess that's like one way of doing it so this is what worked for me it might also work for you if you're having like a similar project so yeah thanks all for watching i hope this video was helpful i'll see you guys again in the next video with another tutorial subscribe for more java tutorials and i'll see you guys again in the next video